We want to get right to the story behind this stunning image right here. An American transport plane carrying more than 600 Afghans fleeing the Taliban. The flight took them to safety from Kabul to Qatar on Sunday, nearly setting a record for the number of people packed into a massive C-17. Martha Raddatz is back with more on that. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. Imagine being the crew of that late night flight and seeing all of those Afghan civilians, families and children rushing the plane, desperate to get out and knowing that the plane could not carry all of them. That is when the crew made a life saving decision. This morning, unforgettable images emerging from the fall of Afghanistan as Afghan citizens raced to escape the Taliban. The airport, a scene of chaos as hundreds of Afghans rushed the tarmac, clinging to taxiing planes, masses swarming this boarding ramp, attempting to force themselves on a commercial liner, pilots unable to take off. And then there is this image, a look into a U.S. Air Force C-17 packed with Afghans fleeing their country, revealing their true grit and resilience. A defense official speaking to ABC News on the condition of anonymity, revealing that the C-17 using the call sign REACH 871 was at Kabul's airport when it was rushed by hundreds of people desperate to leave Afghanistan, over 640 Afghans eventually climbing aboard. The plane's crew, believing it would be unsafe to unload the passengers, instead initiated what's called a floor load. The passengers clinging to cargo straps run from side to side, creating makeshift seat belts. All the people on the flight had cleared processing and held special immigrant visas. A remarkable feat as the C-17 Globemaster is only built to carry a maximum 171,000 pounds of cargo, just enough for 800 persons averaging 200 pounds each. But in terms of space, it's only designed to seat around 100 soldiers with their equipment. Among those on board 871, a family with three young children. This image showing one of the children holding a toy offered by one of the pilots, a sign of compassion to help ease a traumatic experience. Those families now safe in Doha, trying to start a new life, and as we know, others still trying to get out. But quick action by that crew in what was surely a heart-wrenching moment, George. So, Martha, what's the plan to get those Afghan allies who are still stranded in Afghanistan out now? Well, George, the Pentagon says 22,000 Afghan interpreters and their families will be housed at Fort McCoy, Wisconsin, and Fort Bliss, Texas. Other military bases may be identified as needed. Another 8,000 will be housed overseas as they complete the visa process. But the challenge does remain getting them out of Afghanistan, and we see that happening every day. They're trying hard, George. Sure do. Okay, Martha, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.